I'm sorry. We're looking for a suspect. We got reason to believe he's still in the neighborhood, and uh, I want the little boy to take a look at him. You have no right to keep us here. Uh, yes, I do. Your son's a material witness to a homicide. You don't understand. We want nothing to do with your laws. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me. <laughs> a lot of people I meet are like that. I've looked at a lot of American stories, but this one just caught my eye. Every time I read the script, uh, upon a, every time there was a new uh, hope that it would get together, I'd, I'd read it again, and every time it was, uh, it was a revelation to me. It's the Amish aspect of the story. I mean, uh, on the one hand, it managed to be have all of the conventional aspects of a police story that, that one has come to love. Uh, that wouldn't have been enough to get me to do it, but it had a, a tremendous um, uh, subtext with this collision of these two cultures. I've also, and not surprisingly, been offered a, a cop story or two. And to this uh, point, I've never taken one, mostly because uh, they're centered around uh, violence and action rather than being character studies. This was one where the alien Amish culture had an effect on the character, an effect on, on the way he behaved. All of my early uh, experience was uh, with comedy. This was not a funny movie. No, it wasn't. No, no, it's, no it's, I don't think out, it was a smile. Was... <laughs> <laughs> no, no and, uh, not many laughs. And, and, and we've uh, put them in as they've come up. I mean, you know, not with any great plan in mind. Basically, the, the dramatic potential is established between the, uh, in context between the, the rough uh, life of the Philadelphia detective and the, I don't know, how you would characterize the life of the Amish. Uh, just, just two hours, yeah. Just two hours from Philadelphia is this total anomaly. Um, there's a line in the script where my partner asks me where I am, and I say, oh, about 1870. You look better, buddy. <laughs> It's not our way, but it's my way. <laughs> oh, no! Come on down, Jack. Hey, you're not allowed to fight, Frank. You're a man of what? Oh, okay. Here comes another one. Look at this. Whoa. This one looks It's all right, Book. Hey, watch it, Frank. He's going to hit you with his Bible. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you're making a mistake. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I think there's a lot of dramatic potential uh, in in that contrast, um, and then the the relationship story of these of the, these two people, the Philadelphia cop and the Amish woman, is isn't something you've seen a lot of in the last couple of years. It's a it's an original idea. <laughs> what? You better get going. Plain. 
Okay. Police officer, ma'am. I have to talk to the boy. We want nothing to do with your laws. Your son's a material witness to a homicide. I'm very pleased to be working with uh, with Peter Weir, whose work I admire, and who is bringing to this film a real style and uh, strong construction. He directs the entire film in a kangaroo suit. Uh, that's the only difference I've noticed between American and Australian directors. I don't know if they all do that. But uh, I find it very interesting. We started out shooting for two weeks in Philadelphia, and as much as uh, as uh, I do admire that city, it's a pretty place, a nice city. Uh, we found enough of the dark side of town, the bad side of town, to uh, uh, to make it look like a a hellish kind of place. Good, T-Bone. Hey, man, how you doing? Hey, man! Let's get his off. Hey! Is this the man, Sam? Is this him? Hey! You sure? Back on. You listen to me. I want no further part of this, nor does my son. Okay, okay, get back in the car. Hey, honest mistake, all right? It's about um, an Amish woman and her son who go to Philadelphia and he witnesses a murder and we, we come in an encounter with a Philadelphia policeman who ends up living with us for a while. Samuel, wait for me downstairs. John Book, while you were in this house, I insist that you respect our ways. Right. Here, take it. Put it somewhere where it's safe, where you won't find it. This woman really is very much as a woman would have been 200 years ago. And here is a man from the current, right from the moment, from the very edge of the darkness of the city. And uh, there's great drama, but of course it leads to fantastic comedy. The contrast is very dramatic to this uh, location. And the tempo of the film and the opening sequences matches the intensity of life in a big city like Philadelphia. So when we get out here, it's, uh, it's pretty easy to be seduced by the charm of this kind of country. That's the whole idea of shooting a film on location. You get a, lo a lot more out of it uh, than, than you might imagine. And this is a real story. It's about real. It's about people who really do live this way today. Um, and we really couldn't have captured it any place but on on location. I read the script while I was doing uh, uh, Temple of Doom, and uh, I read it many times over a period of about six months. Um, and I always came back to it. It's a real good idea for a movie, I think it's a, a, a and it was a well um, articulated idea. Did you deliver the kid's interview to Schaefer? No. I want all the paperwork on this job disappeared tonight, you understand? John, do you know what you're telling me to do? Just do it, man. I'm gonna disappear for a couple of days. John, what's going on, man? What is happening? I'll call you when I can. And partner, I want you back.